Assalamu alaikum ninjas, welcome back, welcome back, it's your tech ninja Muhammad. Oh my god, so many new smartphones in my hands. Uh, so yes, uh, uh, after the full in-depth review, I'm gonna share with you uh, the cons regarding the Elephone A5, the reasons why you maybe won't buy this device, maybe you're gonna get uh, Xiaomi Mi A2, maybe Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite, or even Yumi Digi or Honor 8X. You're gonna have the buying links below if you still decide to buy Elephone A5, but Elephone fanboys, please make sure to check firstly my uh, after this video check my review where I talk about the good size of this device there are many many great things about it and uh, you're gonna check my reasons why you should buy the elephone a5 in this video we're gonna discuss only the worst things about this device the dis disadvantages so let's begin immediately uh, like I said here please make sure to help out my channel support my channel shop online right now or later on with my links uh, on Gearbest or Banggood thank you in advance I hope you're doing well ninja so let's begin here Firstly, what I noticed here is the battery life. Battery life is average, not as I expected for massive 4000 mAh battery. It has probably one of the kind of worst battery life here at the first early stages for a 4000 mAh battery I would expect it. It doesn't have a MediaTek 6750, uh, some uh, basically not optimized or not less uh, battery efficient SoC. Helio P60, uh, it's a great SoC, but it seems that the L I'm, I'm not blaming the SoC. I'm blaming here the Elephone for not optimizing the operative system, the Android skin, etc, etc. Uh, because uh, the battery life is not optimized and it's not what you expect in Ninjas. Because example, you get Redmi Note 5, Redmi Note 6 Pro, Mi, Xiaomi Mi A2 Lite. Uh, they have uh, 4000 mAh power battery and they give you better, better battery life. Way better battery life, like 50% better than this smartphone Ninjas. 50%. Anyway, let's continue next. So yes, like I said here, you're gonna go with the risk and you will have to rely on updates and uh, Elephone, the number one reason where they need to work is with the battery life and the second is the camera optimization regarding the video recording. Video recording is poor, audio focus doesn't work, manual focus uh, works, doesn't work, EIS is kind of okay, but still way behind Xiaomi's uh, electronic image stabilization. So again, the EIS is there in just, but it's not that good as like with the Xiaomi smartphones. So unfortunately, Unfortunately, uh, the camera, also the camera samples are basically, they, are need, they need to optimize it. They need to optimize it with the future OT update and I hope they're gonna do that. Fake third camera, yes, fake third camera, you, you like, oh my god, three cameras on the back, looks so awesome, but no, the third one is uh, completely fake. Doesn't work at all, you covered it, it doesn't even show you any error or something like that, nothing, it's just a dummy or so. So Chinese companies need to stop lying, they could spend the cost for this third modular on, modular on something else, like example, they could maybe uh, give us an IR blaster inst instead of three or four cameras, man. Come on, man. Come on. Mic quality is poor. Uh, yes, the mic quality is poor. A lot of noise in the back since this phone lacks secondary noise cancellation mic. Smartphone also does overheat 42 degrees. Helio P60 con. Other phones with the same SoC also overheats. Example, Nokia X5. But this is the only f uh, kind of uh, with the super heavy task, Ninjas. If you're gonna maybe use a Facebook or Instagram, it's not gonna get you 42 degrees. Or if you're gonna play some medium graphical games, it's not gonna get you 42. Only with those high demanding games like Shadowgun Legends, like uh, PUBG, etc, uh, etc. Et uh, and Arc Mobile example. Anyway, no Gorilla Glass protection. So for $200, I don't know why Elephone's still not uh, giving us the Gorilla Glass protection uh, so far. And uh, not usable for USA market lack of LTE bands. So yes, yeah, so you don't have a lot of bands here. At least in EU we can use it because there is the LTE E band B20. I also have to remind you that uh, only Android 8 for now, Android 8 Oreo, they said they will upgrade to Android 9, but I don't know when. And honestly, don't believe them 100% they're gonna even release it. They might release it, but I don't know when. I don't think it's gonna be soon, bro. Anyway, anyway, we'll see. We'll stay positive. We'll stay positive. Phone is also a fingerprint magnet. Uh, it is a finger magnet. It takes a lot of smudges, takes a lot of fingerprints there. Even the even the frame, the metal frame around the smartphone is also fingerprint magnet. It leaves a lot of uh, kind of dirt. You will have to use a case or if you're gonna use it without a case, you will have to clean it every day. Glass back might be beautiful, but please use the case. It's not Gorilla glass, so it's easy to crack without the case. 
case. I already proved that with the Yumi DG1 Pro, which uh, they probably used similar glass on the back and oh my god, it smashed so easily, just Even with the small uh, height, uh, short height, it smashed so bad. So please make sure to use a case with this smartphone. Uh, also a bit heavy and difficult to use with one hand, Xiaomi Mi A2 Lite is a better alternative uh, if you need something lighter and easier for one hand usage. So ninjas, this is it. These are the cons so far that I noticed. Uh, anyway, uh, remind you that uh, some of you will, uh, with the long term, find maybe a few uh, small bugs with some kind of third party app or something like that. For now, this is it, what I got here with my own use. So I hope you do appreciate my work, do appreciate my videos because uh, uh, many many of uh, like commercial uh, YouTubers are calling me like a drama queen or something like that. Yes, trust me, or trust me, they do. <laughs> Uh, because uh, I don't do commercial reviews I honestly wished I had like a paid job from these companies <laughs> just to be like a tester a real tester just focus on these reviews and not focusing on anything else oh my god I'll be a killer I'll be a killer there if they could but anyway they obviously the, the market the market doesn't work like that uh, they wouldn't be able to sell anything if they have many uh, like hundred people of like me bro uh, doing these reviews. Anyway, uh, wish you all the best. Like I said here, this is uh, still with these cons, this is a solid device. I'm not saying it's perfect, I'm not saying it's super great, but it's a solid device. It's a solid device with the great uh, uh, pros, great reasons to get it, but still on the other side, some unpolished things which Elephone rushed and they didn't work on. They worked on some parts of this device which are super, super cool, which I loved, completely loved there, and I did show that in my full review. So check my full review before the full Judgment. don't just watch this video like I said uh, this is only regarding the cons make sure to check also the bright side of the iPhone a5 if the iPhone a5 is expensive for you there is a $50 cheaper variant iPhone a4 Pro which I do uh, advise uh, if you want to go if you want still to have this kind of iPhone 10 look or Helio, uh, Huawei P20 Pro look uh, with the glass on the back glass on the front uh, iPhone a4 Pro is also a decent good uh, product from iPhone company so ninjas, subscribe, share and like, share my videos on Elephone forums so they can know what are the bugs, what are the cons and if you already have this device, please make sure to share your own cons, your own, uh, of course, impressions with me and with all of us on YouTube in the, in the comment section. Like I said here ninjas, the alternatives are obviously the Yumi DG1 Max, Yumi DG F1, Xiaomi Mi, 8, uh, Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite and Honor 8X that I can advise you, plus the Xiaomi Redmi Note 6 Pro if you want to go with that device. In the description, the buying links are there. Have a beautiful day. Peace. Have you ever wondered where to buy smartphones from? Chicka chicka ching 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 China. That is the gearbest.com and banggood.com, the most reliable two sites for online buying. Use my promo links below in the description to purchase anything ninjas. That's the best way to support me. Let's go.